Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have not one but two My Ireland boxes to share with you. Now as some of you know, I try to keep all of my videos under 20 minutes so you don't spend too much of your day with me. So as we go through, and Catherine does include a lot of information about the different artists and businesses that are featured in this box, if it looks like we're not going to make it through the second box without me having to go even faster than I usually do, I will go ahead and do a second video, but we'll see where we're at about the halfway point. This box is a lovely monthly subscription all the way from Dingle Ireland. It is $49.95 plus $15 in shipping to the U.S., but if you use the code MAUI, M-A-U-I, you can save $5 on on your first box and these two boxes were kindly sent to me for review I believe they are the May and June boxes they actually came in reverse order but I'm going to start with what I believe to be the May box so this one is kind of hefty she does do a few spoilers sometimes over on Instagram but the real reason to follow over on Instagram is because sometimes she takes us on lovely countryside walks which I really appreciate so this is how I snuck a peek so it had this beautiful image and then I'll show you guys how much information she always includes. I just got distracted because on the back of this there is a recipe for Catherine's bread and butter pudding which just sounds good. Um, I didn't used to be like a huge bread pudding fan but I have of late started to appreciate it a little bit more and I have a feeling if you just add more butter to something it's gonna be even better. So here is an example you guys. She does these nice long letters to members that are front and back with so much information. I will do my best with the pronunciation Anytime there's any Irish Gaelic, I struggle for sure, but it looks like it should be pretty easy to get around. I am seeing a little bit of information about the recipe card and insert, and I do also suggest joining their Facebook group. Again, if you want to see those beautiful Irish landscapes, I always joke that I have an affinity for Ireland, which is just a gorgeous country. I love their history. I love their poetry, their music, and I always joke that it's because I also grew up on an island. Um, there is a little like sneak peek about the next box in terms of there being a really big special treat about the ring of Carrie. So hopefully we get to that in this video. Uh, but let's go ahead and turn it around. It says, hello, dear My Ireland Box member. I'm just back from a walk in Burnham Woods. Summer is most definitely coming alive. The ancient trees that lift your gaze right up to the sky are so magnificent. And I love wandering the paths that hold so much history. The herb Robert, bluebells and wild garlic have emerged and there are beautiful scarlet berries on the holly trees that are happily sheltered at the base of the majestic trees that have stood gazing strong over me, my family, and indeed our ancestors for centuries. She paints quite a lovely picture, right? There is a beautiful poem here, but I won't read that because like I said, we have to get through this box. But the other thing that kind of fell out of here is this beautiful little print. I love this. It's like a little cottage, but it's kind of, it's an image of, I think, a felted piece. Wow, this is so pretty. I don't think this is like part of the box. Um, oh, it's actually a card. <laughs> Sweet. It says, hello, Noel. This is the May I My Ireland box. Enjoy the treats. We have these for purchase on their store. So if you're interested in getting this box, you guys, you still can. So good to know. Let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and open everything else up. Again, this is a really hefty box. This is the heavy one. And I think I'm seeing on the sheet why that is. And I'm very excited because it has to do with something uh, edible. You guys know how excited I get about treats. So let me see if I can kind of find everything. Oh my goodness, I hope that I have enough room to open this all up nicely. So the first thing I am seeing, one of the heavier things is from Wild Fuchsia Bakehouse. It's an Irish Wheaton bread mix made in Ireland, simple, wholesome, tasty, brown bread so I love when we get baking mixes like this because I love to bake but I have a very small kitchen so I don't usually have a lot of things in my pantry these days so let me see if I can find this um, this is located in Dunfanai County 
County Donegal. It says, these bread mixes first grabbed my attention when I read that Sian had said, Sean had said, my childhood memories are a mixture of smells and tastes from the delicious home baking made by my granny, great aunt, and mother. My mother is now known by her grandkids as Granny Bun. When you bake, the house is filled with glorious smells and you end up with something delicious at the end of it. We call cupcakes and the like buns. That's so cool. Um, I'm really excited to give this a try also just because it looks like it's something that I can probably manage. So you'll have to watch over on Instagram every once in a while I'll kind of go through all of the like mixes and things that I've received in boxes and go ahead and do like a big baking day and I love taking food photos that's like one of my favorite things to do um, although it, it does it is a, like practice in willpower to not eat things speaking of baking we have something from the Irish granny's pocket farmhouse kitchen over 110 classic dishes look at how nice that jam jar looks there so let me see if I can find this on here I'm sure I can uh, let's see homemade uh, where is this one I'm not seeing this one exactly but I'm sure that I will find it it says we have oh I love the images in this little recipe book and so many of these recipes are nostalgic to me and more are what we cook and bake daily we have porridge with berries most mornings oh that sounds so good I love the soup recipes oh this looks like fun you guys and I always like these little ones because they just have the most like inspiring images um, where I don't need to take the food photography I have to like aspire to make my baked haddock look as good as that bake haddock so I like little recipe books let me know if you enjoy getting recipes in the mail I love that she also does like family recipes included in this box too um, Wow we've got, we've got so much stuff in this box so this is from McGenty's uh, fine teas a refreshing taste of home loose leaf tea Irish breakfast you guys look how big this bag of Irish breakfast tea is Wow that is huge let me find this on here I think you'd think I would have seen it. Um, where did this go? Hmm. I saw it. There it is. So Donald and Hel Helen from County Louth, McKenty's Teas. We always look for Irish artisan foods that may have won an award and chose this particular tea for that very reason. Uh, the awards are run by a local family here in Dingle and once they make a recommendation, we know it will be loved by many. So Donald and Helen, both passionate tea drinkers, brought together the idea of McKenty's Tea from their office on the family farm in County Louth, Louth after Donald decided several years ago to follow his passion in tea or more specifically Irish blend of loose leaf tea so um, it does require a mug infuser tea strainer tea ball muslim tea bag or a french press but we all know about tea these days because we get so much loose leaf tea in our subscription boxes right i'm just so impressed by how much we got so you can have a nice uh fresh slice of bread with your tea you guys i'm totally into this oh this is pretty it's a magnetic fridge notepad now you guys know i don't put anything on my fridge really in terms of magnets but it is nice to have that as an option so you can kind of see the magnet here on the back um, but still a notepad, which I'm going to love using. This is like a good size as well. And it has that, got that classic image of someone herding his sheep right down the middle of the street. So, so sweet. So this is from uh, Harvest Pictorial. It says, I will be brief. Jamie sent me one of these magnetic notepads and I cannot live without it on my fridge. So here's one for you. Never forget a thing again and enjoy the image of Ireland that I am surrounded by here on the Dingle Peninsula. In the meantime, um, he founded his business uh, in the county of Cork in 1989 so love that nice and useful let's see if it's got oh I love this so it's not just plain pages it's got that same image on the top and then kind of almost as a watermark in the background and it does have some lines so you can keep your like kitchen notes and lists nice and neat love that so nice let me see i'm gonna have to like make space for things um the next thing i'm seeing is all wrapped up and i am a little bit worried about opening it it's got all these pretty like dried leaves on it but maybe i can get into it so it's just a a box within the box but i'm gonna go ahead and just cut it so that uh we don't spend too much time Ooh, i'm seeing a familiar little image you guys and this makes me very happy because um i am thinking that it is from i think it's the wild filter let me see Yes, Molly Ellis from the Wild Filter. Mm, Molly and her husband drove down in a large van from Cork to Dingle with the first batch of these amazing mugs. It's a mug, you guys. I'm so incredibly happy. So I believe we've gotten a mug from them before, and it is one of my favorites, you guys. It's I think the one I have has the same bird image, but then it's got like some words on the inside lip. I hope that is the case with this one. 
I love this. So let's see. She says she wanted to work with her again and she loves the Gaelic saying, Slancha Maith. Uh, we say it a lot in our family, meaning good health or good health to you. Um, so she created mugs for our members this month that would be seen um, within the mug after a sip of satisfying tea or coffee. And so I love that she has paired it with, of course, that loose leaf tea. So there are different images for members. Robins, hens, butterflies, all are beautiful. And I love the way these have been wrapped with love and care by Molly using dried hydrangeas. That's what those were. And hydrangeas are like one of my favorites. I didn't recognize them in their dried form uh, from her neighbor Maureen's garden home in the house of Peggy. Also, I love that this is wrapped up very well, which is great. It did have to come all the way from Ireland, and I'm, so I'm thrilled that it made it in one piece. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Love this love and this is going to match my other mug so nicely because it also has a bird on it look at how cute he is he is so sweet i think that is such a lovely image and then look at the shape of this handle you guys that is so cool inside it does say slancha my i don't know how to say that um good health to you right on the inside so if you're sipping it this is what you see but i do love that the bird image is on both sides oh my gosh this is like one of my favorite things the other mug was one of my favorite things that i've ever gotten in a my ireland box so now i have a second favorite and they just the look so cute together because they like match but don't um, because they are those felted images and then I think we have one more thing which is also heavy this was a heavy box for them to send okay this is we got you guys we have like this whole like lovely morning I can feel in this box with the mug and the tea and the bread and then some strawberry jam from Big Red Kitchen and look how cute it is in this jar with that little like topper I love 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 that um, so this is from County Meath from Nicola homemade jam for your wheat and bread straight from the kitchen of Nicola Smith based in Navan County Meath Nicola featured in my Ireland box in 2019 and here she returns with her award winning raspberry and vanilla jam but mine is strawberry which is totally fine strawberries are like one of my favorite things ever so I love this so she started a nearly 20 so in 1991 she first picked blackberries and started making jams and then she started her business in 2010 so this is such a good box you guys I'm so thrilled that she uh, sent this kind of little bit of a throwback but you guys can get this box too in the shop so again let's just go over everything that we got we got our um, baking mix we got our huge bag of McKenzie's teas we got our super cute it says there's a pocket guide to oh it's not a pocket guide to Irish castles it's our little um, recipe book we got our uh, nice little notepad that can go on the fridge we got our lovely jar of strawberry jam and then of course you guys the recipe card and insert but my very very favorite item which will always be that amazing little mug so let's see if we can go ahead and see the June box, you guys, which is a much lighter. Doesn't mean there's less in it. It just means that it's a little bit lighter. So opening this up, here we go. And this is another gorgeous image that looks familiar because I did have an opportunity to visit the Ring of Carrie, as, which was spoiled before. It says, as I write this, the hailstones pound against the window. In the summertime, I hear you say? Yes, indeed. Compared to last year, the weather has been quite cold here. We're all crossing our fingers for a warmer June, July, and August. We welcomed a new team member this month. And then it says, I have compiled a lovely but lengthy booklet on the islands of Ireland for you, so I'll keep my letter to you short-ish this month. I want to include a poem by Seamus Heaney which is like my one of my favorite poets you guys and I was lucky enough to have the opportunity to actually have a drink with him at our local bar when I was in college and funny enough the uh, bar was, was called Grafton Street very very Irish even even when we were in Boston so it's uh, the late Seamus Heaney famous Irish poet wrote this poem it's called The Given Note I won't read it to you but it is I uh, I love, I gotta get back into my poetry, you guys. And then I am so excited. This is the Puffin Box, hooray. So I was really excited because if there's anything that I love uh, more, I guess, than the sheep, I love the sheep box. That's always my favorite. I think the sheep box this year was the July box. It's the fact that Ireland has puffins, which you know are what the sort of origin of porgs are from Star Wars, just anyway. You guys look at this puffin it is so cute it is made by red rufus which is the same company that made our sheep in last year's sheep box how adorable look at his little feet oh my goodness he's so stunning and you can see how like handmade and adorable he is let me see if i can find this 
It does say Red Roof is featured in my Ireland box previously and the sheep that Christina created last year was such a huge hit that when she spotted her handmade puffins, she knew that she had to send one to us. I am so excited about this, you guys. You have to read a little bit more about Red Rufus. I will definitely tag them when I take some photos of this box over on Instagram. Let's see. Oh, something that is light and not too, too crushed. That's good. It's O'Donnell's of Tipperary Sweet Chili Flavor. Some crisps, you guys. They are gluten-free let me see if I can find these now I have so much paper here on me that I'm not sure I'll be able to find it but this is very exciting oh they did include a nice digital or virtual tour you guys of the ring of Carrie. that was like the surprise extra I think that was supposed to be in this box so we got these O'Donnell's crisps I'm super excited about this we have Catherine's Ireland islands of Ireland booklet which wow and here is a real puffin so I'm sure she did so much work to put this together which I absolutely love we have our uh, wow my sister Sorcha's famous fish pie that is something I've never tried I don't know if I'd be brave enough to actually make that and then what else have we got here is, I think this is some information about our island experience, maybe that um, digital tour that you can go on. We have a couple more, ooh, Mella's Irish Butter Fudge. Um, hello, yes, anytime we get fudge. It says, you have not tried this Irish sea salt fudge yet, so it had to be included. Let's hear about the divine creator of this crumbly, buttery, luxurious, and decadent delight. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about the fudge, you guys. That is amazing, amazing. It does tell us that, yes, the July box is the sheep box. I'm hoping maybe I'll get a sheep box too, because I have sheep from the last two years, so I need to add to my flock. And then finally, to round it all out, we got this little key ring with a little puff in. like this is like a cute little item little trinket I have so many Q rings I don't know that I will what I will use this one for but it might be like a nice gift to someone who loves Ireland as much as I do or puffins I've like long dreamed of going to see the puffins because there's definitely a season for them um, and you can see them in Iceland as well but I think Ireland might be a little bit more fun even though I've had the opportunity to visit both both are gorgeous island countries so let me just go through this little um, pamphlet because again so much information and make sure that I did actually hit everything so we had our beautiful poem from Seamus we have our amazing puffin from Red Rufus and then we have something from County Wicklow Real Ireland Design so it says from calendars and bookmarks to mini jigsaw puzzles Real Ireland Designs products represent Ireland very nicely how nice to carry a puffin around with you every day on this key ring so that is the maker of this little guy um, and then it tells us a little bit Ooh, I think I skipped a page one of Ireland's favorite crisp for sure is of course Odell Donald's. Yes, here is that. That's the page that I skipped. Um, we have our Mellis, Mellis fudge. So we got two treats, you guys. We got a little sweet and we got a little savory. We got our fudge, which I like that it's in the shape of a little bar. Then we got these crisps, which you guys, it's always so hard when I open these boxes to not just dive into all of the treats immediately. So those are from County Tipperary. The other ones are from County Cork or the fudge is from County Cork. Then we have, like I said, this Dingle Sleigh Head Tours virtual tour of the Ring of Kerry. So that is what that pamphlet was for. Rory and his wife, Eilish, along with renowned tour guide, Calm Bambury, um, who offer guided tours all over Island Ireland, including one that travels to Slayhead Drive on the Dingle Peninsula. Um, so they're telling you about the costs of those, but they have already paid the cost of you to go on this virtual tour. So that is so cool. Like a fun little way of traveling right now when so many of us cannot actually. So wow two amazing boxes from my Ireland box. You let me know though in the comments below which of the boxes was more your cup of tea. I gotta say once that that teacup is just or that coffee mug is just so amazing but then when we've got this little guy help me name our little puffin friend in the comments below and give this video a like i would truly truly appreciate it we will both would appreciate it and hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did thumbs it up and i will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing